Hey, what's up? It's Cecily and welcome back to This Week in Rideshare and Food Delivery News. A recent Lyft and Uber study in Chicago reveals that there may be evidence of racial discrimination and rideshare dynamic pricing. Data collected revealed that when a person was dropped off in a neighborhood with a higher percentage of non-white individuals, they were charged higher prices. Now, these two researchers are from George Washington University, and they also added that riders also saw fares change when a person was dropped off in a neighborhood where residents were younger and less educated, and also when a person was dropped off in an area where there are higher property values. Now, these researchers chose Chicago for the study because both companies were forced to disclose their fares by government agencies. A Lyft spokesperson said that this study is deeply flawed, that race doesn't play a factor in dynamic pricing. An Uber spokesperson said that they don't condone discrimination through algorithms, but praised the researchers for looking into dynamic pricing. Now, I don't think this is a surprise to anyone, but it's worthy of note. Lyft did confirm that they're using data collected from the Express Drive program to accelerate development of their self-driving cars. Now, each car in the program has a front-facing camera sensor installed and apparently each driver receive a lengthy disclosure informing you of the car uh, cameras and the data collected now the data is being used to make driving simulations more realistic and they're also using it for trajectory information for instance you don't always drive in the middle of the lane sometimes you move to the side for certain reasons things like that. Instacart's rapid growth during the pandemic has helped propel them to owning 57% of the market share for online grocery delivery over Walmart. This is huge. Walmart's market share dropped to 25% in April because they couldn't keep up with orders. Even though they've gotten back in the game, it seems like Instacart's gonna win this one. Last week, we talked about Seattle uh, and possibly enacting hazard pay I'm starting to think that Instacart might be able to afford it. Uber Eats customers received an email here in LA announcing that they're expanding alcohol delivery in this market and I'm sure in other markets too. This expansion makes sense after Saucy, a very popular alcohol delivery service, left California after passing AB5. Drizzly, Postmates, and DoorDash have vied to get the market share here in California, but I think Uber Eats has the infrastructure to take over. One note, uh, when I went online, I compared the prices of two wines. <laughs> Uber Eats was twice as much, so just know that. Uh, having worked for Saucy, delivering alcohol is good, easy money, and people tip. People don't mind their alcohol being a little late. A cold sandwich, not so much. Now, Uber's financial services head, Peter Hazelhurst, resigned Thursday after an announcement to deprioritize Uber's financial products and renewed focus on rideshare and food delivery. Hazelhurst was responsible for the Uber Money product, which included a digital wallet, credit cards and incentives for drivers. This week's What Would You Do was back. <laughs> so check out this video. What's my name? Uh, Edgar, I think. Yes, sir. Thank you for like, coming out. No problem. By any chance, do you have a mask? No, I don't. Can, do you mind to put your shirt on top right here? I so can. That'll be you really appreciated. I'm sorry? You believe in that shit? Yes, I do. Because I have a, a family that is, that is uh, sick of that. Mm -hmm. I don't believe our government. So. Well, it's not—it's not the government. It's the the people that is, is getting sick. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't have a mask. Yeah. Oh, it's taking me to the freeway. You want to take that way, or you gonna? Well, if you want to drive around me all night long without a mask, that's fine. If you want to get me home quick, you go that way. That's, that's fine. To you. I don't like you. You don't like me. You want to no. get out? No, I want you to take my ass home and give you a shitty review. You know what? You can get out right now. I'm not getting out right now. Yes. Nope, I've got a, I've got a contract with you and I've got a ride with nope. you. Right now. Nope, it's not your car, it's it's Lyft. Nope, it's you my car. You represent Lyft. Well, then suit Lyft. Then. Your little candy ass faggy white glasses. Mm-hmm. I just fucking crush your fucking skull right now. You're on video. I'm not gonna do that though, cause I'm an idiot. I'm an, I'm an idiot. Yeah, you're on video right now. I'm not an idiot. Just take me home. No. And I'll get, and I won't give you a review. Just take me home. No. Nope. How could you say you finished the trip when I want to go I did over finish there. the trip. I finished the trip. You didn't cancel the trip. Though. I did. No, I didn't cancel. I finished the trip. 
It's okay, different. so I'll just have to call Lyft and complain about it. Go ahead. Okay, that's what I'll do. Then. Go ahead. I have video. Yeah, you got video. Yeah. You got video? Yeah. Hey, you got video? Yeah. Hey, you ever take English class? You got video? You got video? Do you, do you take uh, models class? What? Models. What's models? You don't even you don't, you don't even speak. You no, don't even I don't. I don't know because I speak English. Yeah, you think you're speaking, well, you speak speaking English, but Hawaii? you don't. I'm from here. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You're a fucking wetback. And you what? Uh, you are? I'm an American motherfucker. I fought for, I'm an Amer- for three times. I'm an American too. Three times in the goddamn war. I'm an American too. No, I don't. But you don't speak English. Yes, I do speak English. Okay, I speak well, how Spanish. Can you, how come you just want to rip me off on my trip? That's all I want to know. I don't want to rip you off of the trip. Then you why start are you disrespecting me? me. Why you... Is that considered fair in your country? Yes, because this is my country too. Okay, I'll just get on call left. You're yeah, go ahead. Arm. Yeah, I got video, and I'm gonna present I'm it. I'm gonna press charges on you right now. And I'll know who you are. Yeah, Hold yeah, it. yeah. Go ahead. Go on, boy. Go ahead. If it were me, I would have immediately pulled over like this young man did, and I would get out the car. I would not have engaged with him and had an argument with him. The full video is available on YouTube. The driver seemed to be very comfortable, very relaxed, and he seemed like he was going to handle his business if he needed to. I love the fact that he didn't attack him. My question to you is, what would you do in that situation? If you like this video, you know what to do. We'd love to see your engagement. Let me know that you're watching and you appreciate what I do. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please check it out. There are a lot of great creators here and they create content just for your consumption. If you're interested in who I am and what I do, my name is Cecily and I have a channel called Drive Girl Drive. You can find me on YouTube, Facebook. Yeah, YouTube and Facebook and Twitter. All right. Have a great week. Bye.